Murph AI. At one point, it was at the top of the list in text-to-speech, along with, or maybe even ahead of, Eleven Labs. But Eleven Labs has definitely emerged as the one to beat. Now, recently, I got an email from Murph AI announcing their new Gen 2 engine. And I gotta say, I was intrigued. One of the features of Gen 2 that they announced is voice styles. Narration, newscast, excited, sad, angry, calm. Given that we have challenges getting the AI voices to say what we want in the way that we wanted to, this looked really interesting. And then they talked about variability as a means of creating several different versions. You pick the one that you like best. That sounds pretty cool. Sort of like the way AI image generators work. They also announced Say It My Way, which after I did a little bit of reading, found out it had nothing to do with Frank Sinatra. It's just a fancy name for speech to speech something Eleven Labs has had for a long time. But okay, then the really cool feature announcement, word level emphasis. Now this is something I think anyone that's used text-to-speech would really love to have in whatever platform they're using. Being able to select the word in a sentence and say, this is the one that gets the emphasis. So they had my attention, I'm ready to go try this thing out. And here I am inside the Murph AI studio, and it says right at the top here that I am rendering using Speech Gen 2. So if I click into the text on this block, you see all these settings up at the top where you select your speaker and all that sort of stuff. So first, where is this voice style thing? Well, it's right here. I chose conversational. If I hit that drop down, I have no other options. Interesting. So then what's this thing about? Well, if we click on the voice, we come over here, you'll see on the left, you have these voice styles. Quite a few of them actually, but here's the deal. We can't just pick Imani and then pick any voice style we want to go with Imani. If I click promo, Imani just disappeared. If I click conversational, I've got her back. But if I say narration, where did she go? Well, she doesn't do narration. Does she do newscast? Nope, doesn't appear so. Let's unselect and take a look at Terrell. So I've selected him for this block. Now if I click the drop down, here are the choices that I can have for this voice character. Narration, calm, promo, conversational, inspirational. That is a decent variety and that's cool. So this is really just a way to organize the voices that we have. With Eleven Labs, they have some voices that have multiple different styles, but they don't have a base voice with a name like Terrell and then a drop down where you can pick the different styles that it's available in. Instead, you have to go look for those styles individually. Okay, that's not exactly what I was expecting. I thought you were going to be able to pick your voice, and then once you picked your voice, you'd have all the options of how you wanted that voice to come across. Okay, let's check out this variability thing that they talked about. So we click that, and I see this lightning bolt up here that says premium, and what does that say? Oh, it's a premium feature that's included in Enterprise Plan, but you can explore it for free until the end of August. And we have a pretty familiar slider here from stable to variable. So let's say we roll this over into the middle, maybe three, hit generate, ready to preview. Hey, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. And where are my multiple different generations? Well, in order to do that, we need to come down here under change variability, click that, and then say generate multiple options. Now, before we do that, I think I need to change this from, hey, I'm Amanda, because that didn't make sense. All right, and if we make any changes, it's gonna reset the variation. Okay, because we wanna reset that anyway. So we'll change that to, hi, I'm Terrell. All right, now we'll come down here, click this little AI star, leave it on three and say generate multiple options, set the value and generate, like what you hear, save presets for future use, generate infinite variations. Great, let's go. Hey, explore it for free until August, the, yeah, we know this, and they will vary by speed, pitch, and pauses. Well, that's what we wanted, right? Variability, let's go, generate this thing. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. Maybe it's just me. I didn't notice a whole lot of difference there. Let's go back and swap this inspirational. Let's make it conversation. Oh, how do we get promo? I wanted conversational. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, it happens. Now let's take this variability over to five, generate multiple options. It didn't make us go through all those hoops this time. Now we're just generating. Let's see how we can do. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. 
Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. For maximum variability, I'm not hearing a whole lot of variability in there. I do notice a slight change in inflection and emphasis, but not much. You can adjust the pitch and speed in Murph AI. You can also add a pause. We come to the right with this microphone. That is the say it my way, which again is speech to speech. Click on that. Oh, look, enterprise only feature until August 30th. Let's look at how we can emphasize a specific word. So click on emphasis and our word level emphasis screen pops up and it says enterprise only feature. So explore it for free until the end of August. After that, I guess it's enterprise only. I'll click on welcome. I do like this little map over here. It looks like you can really fine tune things so you can decide whether you want that word to be slow or fast, low pitch or high pitch. So let's take that word welcome and just move it up here in the kind of middle. Say having say it a little bit slower and a little bit higher pitch. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but we'll generate a preview and see. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. Interesting. What if we take this over and have it be high and fast? What happens then? Hey, I am Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. Well, it's doing what it says it's going to do. Let's try it a little slow and low. See what happens there. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. All right, that's cool. Can I do more words in here or just one at a time? Let's try it. I'd like to do, well, it'll only do one word at a time. I wanted to have it say ridiculous rants a little bit faster and podcast, but I guess we have to do that one at a time. So we can pick ridiculous to move that to just fast, keep the pitch the same. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants podcast. And I want rants to be a little faster too. Hey, I'm Terrell. Welcome to the Ridiculous Rants Podcast. Okay, I think I made it a little weird, but that's on me. I think with a little bit of practice and getting the hang of that, I could probably get things dialed in just how I want. But we need to understand this pricing deal because being able to use it free for now is cool, but knowing that it's going to go into enterprise very soon, enterprise is in the price category of let's talk. We can assume that enterprise is going to be more than business. The business light 79 bucks a month plus is 159 bucks a month if you pay annually, would certainly price a lot of solo creators out of the market. It's a hard pass for me. You know, Murph is a decent product and I know some people really enjoy it. For me, I prefer 11 Labs. To see that Murph is implementing some of these features is awesome, but I can't imagine why you would have these features just in your enterprise plan. What do you think?